Equip for work. Everything for your workplace. Carbon One Shelf Cupboard Assembly Guide. Included in the boxes are one top panel, one base panel, two side panels, one back panel, one height adjustable shelf, two doors, four cam pins, four cams, eight wooden dowels, four 58mm screws, four shelf clips, four stick-on cam covers, four soft close door hinges, 24 15mm screws, one inner door lock, one key lock, one key lock collar, two keys, eight 20mm screws, two door handles, four 22mm screws, and one Allen key. You will also need a Phillips crosshead screwdriver. Please note this item is a two person assembly. To start, take the base panel and lie it on the floor with the holes facing upwards. Insert four dowels into the inner holes of the panel as shown. Now take the top panel and again lie it on the floor with the holes facing upwards and insert four dowels into the inner holes of the panel as shown. Using your Phillips crosshead screwdriver, insert the four cam pins into the top panel only. These fit into the outer holes, like this. Next, lay the side panels on the floor with the holes facing upwards. Insert two cams into each one. Make sure the arrow on the cams point towards the outer edge of the panel. With the top panel on the floor, push one of the side panels into position, lining up the holes in the side panel with the cam pins and dowels on the top panel. Tighten the cams until they lock, but take care not to over-tighten. Repeat this step with the second side panel. Next, take the back panel and slide into the grooves in the side panels, ensuring it fits flush into the recess in the top. Lift the base carefully into position, making sure the back panel slides into the recess. Once the base is fitted, use the Allen key to secure with the four 58mm screws. With the help of another person, carefully turn the cupboard the right way up. Next, place the stick-on cam covers over any visible cams. Now to fit the adjustable height shelf. Insert the four shelf clips into height settings as desired. Position the adjustable shelf onto the shelf clips. Next, lay the two doors on the floor with the holes facing upwards. Place the hinge housing into the holes in the door, making sure each hinge mechanism extends over the edge of the doors. With the pilot holes aligned with the holes in the hinges, 
secure each with two 15mm screws. Line up the inner door lock with the pilot holes in the left-hand door and secure with four of the 20mm screws. Position the left door to the left-hand side of the carcass, making sure the inner lock is pointing to the top of the cupboard. Align the holes in the hinges with the pilot holes in the side panel and secure with the 15mm screws. You may need the help of another person to support the door while you attach it to the carcass. Repeat this step with the right-hand door. Now, attach the handles to each door using the four 22mm bolts. To affix the key lock to the right-hand door, place the lock's barrel through the large hole in the door making sure the bar of the lock is pointing to the outside. Place the lock's collar over the lock's barrel on the outside of the door, then secure the lock in position with the remaining four 20mm screws. With the help of another person, move the cupboard into its final resting place and close the doors. Once in position, adjust the doors using the hinge adjustment screws. By turning the front screw clockwise, the door will move towards the centre of the cupboard. Turning anti-clockwise will move the door away from the centre of the cupboard. You can fine-tune for any diagonal movement in the doors by adjusting the top and bottom hinges separately. The screw to the rear of the hinge allows the door itself to slide forward or backwards within the hinge mechanism. And there you have it. Your new carbon cupboard is ready to use. From Equip for Work. Everything for your workplace.